Hello everyone. So I have been uh, trying to use org mode for contact management and in a way I do use it for contact management but uh, recently I thought I'll probably organize my contacts using uh, org mode. Now I have a lot of reasons of uh, moving my contacts within org mode because uh, I have to keep track of my clients, I have to keep track of my contacts at the same time. Things like if someone is sending me an email, I want maybe to remind myself that I have to reply to this person on a specific date. I use org mode to keep track of my leads. For example, let us say I, I get a lead from someone who is interested in uh, any service or consultancy from me. Now. Whenever I get whenever I get a contact or a lead, I make an entry somewhere in my org, org file, and when I make them when I make their entry in my org file, I also have to use a few things like dates to remind myself that you know I have to reply to this person by this date, or if I have done some conversation, then uh, I have to get back to that particular person maybe after two weeks, something like that. Now. I was actually reading some posts, some uh, articles online and I, I found uh, this particular post on Reddit and also this particular wonderful art, one wonderful blog post. So uh, I use org mode for contact management for a very simple, uh, for, for a very, very simple purpose and that purpose is basically a simple file or multiple files, uh, org files where I can uh, store information related to my contacts and at the same time I may also want to use dates. Now let me show you one such example of my org file for contacts and again this is not the this is probably not the only way or the most perfect way I'm sure there are other ways of doing it. Now this org file is something that I keep somewhere in my in my um, directory uh, where I keep track of my clients. Now if we, if, if I if I expand this, so first of all, all the contacts are nothing but subtrees. So uh, if I have to let us add a new contact, I, I can do that like very easily new. Let us add a use, let, let us use a proper name. Um, Ravi, right? So this is of course, uh, you know, just one, <laughs> just one uh, contact that I want to of course use. So this is something that I can do very easily and uh, if I expand one of the contact I can use the properties for storing some information like uh, email address of course, birthday, I mean if you want to keep track of birthdays uh, sometimes you may want to or some kind of dates that are uh, important and uh, the most important part here is this particular group because I do need to report on it later on or I need I need a way to filter uh, or figure out uh, based on this group. For example, if someone is inquiring me or someone has sent me, a, sent, sent me a message or reached out to me about consulting or maybe training or maybe they want to do something, uh, or they have they have some requirements. So I try to, to try to organize uh, different uh, leads, different contacts based on uh, why they contacted me. So if someone is reaching out to me for training, I will use this group as training. Now this is of course one way of doing it, but there are other ways. Apart from that, I also try to uh, use the org feature of using dates, inserting dates, and at the same time, what happened on that particular date. So I try to use uh, the date, the actual date that I can insert using uh, uh, control C and dot so I can basically insert a date like this. For example, if I had a conversation with Vinod today about something, I can do that here. Like uh, uh, we had a meeting and blah, 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 whatever, right? So this is basically a time stamped entry of uh, what all I have been doing. So this is something that you can do. And by the way, if if you're using dates like this, 
and uh, if this particular org file is part of your agenda then uh, these uh, entries will appear in your agenda so just be careful with this so this is something that is kind of working for me i'm not really saying that it is perfect and by the way if you're using properties you can also use something like this maybe maybe you want to keep track of maybe you want to store address somewhere like uh, you know delhi pin code whatever i mean one month zero zero five eight right which is in rohini so this is something that you can do and um, it is a nice way of uh, basically storing the information in a text file now the thing is you may not want to insert this um, every time that you are uh, uh, making a new contact or making a new entry in your contact dot or whatever file and uh, you know about uh, the templates right so you can always use templates to insert this maybe you can use a function or maybe you can use those standard templates which i do anyways uh, to insert this quickly and uh, when i was looking at this particular post on reddit so there is uh, some um, so basically someone has uh, explained how to do it it is of course you know nothing but a template that i am anyways using so let me show you my template so i'll go to my init file and uh, i am using actually a template called uh, yeah so this one so basically if i want to insert an entry very quickly without uh, without worrying about uh, without worrying too much about uh, the uh, um typing like i can imagine if you are doing it every day and if you're doing it uh, every day over and over again then it can be of course uh, cumbersome so you can actually use uh, these uh, templates that you can define somewhere in your uh, init file so that you can insert entries uh, easily so this is something that i thought i will share with you i'm still trying to figure out a uh, few things here because the thing is the thing with org mode is i mean the, if you're talking about org mode i think it works really well when you're working alone and you're the only one who who is working um but if you have to collaborate then uh, you know you have to figure out few things but the thing is i have uh, this particular file where i keep track of my contacts but at the same time for each and every client i work for for each and every project i work for i have a folder and most of the notes that i take i try to take notes in org format so that uh, i can do something with them later on if i have to let us say let us say if i'm working on three projects and for two of those projects i need to take some action later on and i also need to uh, know about the person so i of course you know use a subtree with a to do and then i use dates like scheduled or deadline and uh, those org files are in fact uh, the entire folder and all the subdirectories are actually part of and all the org files in those subdirectories recursively are part of my agenda so if i have to remind myself i can actually use to do and schedule and deadline and uh, i will be reminded but the thing is that those individual project folders and org files in those folders are not directly linked to the contacts so this is something that i have to figure out and uh, i if you if you know a better way of doing it then let me know i will probably take a look but uh, for doing a simple task for doing a simple contact management i think uh, creating a single file with all the contact names as the subtree i think it works fine and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something bye